My favorite element of the moment is beryllium, element number four, atomic number number four. Very toxic element, gray, brittle, but the most interesting thing for me is the role it's playing in the construction of the most advanced space telescope ever built. The James Webb Space Telescope, currently being put together at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. The Webb Telescope is hailed as Hubble's successor and it's going to see further back in time to the very beginning of our universe, to the faintest stars and galaxies. And for it to be able to do that, it's got to be more powerful than Hubble and so its mirror needs to be bigger. In fact, the mirror is going to be six and a half meters wide. But you can't make a mirror that big from the same materials that you made the Hubble mirrors from. The rocket simply can't carry it. It's just too heavy to be launched a million miles out into space. Beryllium is the element for the job. It is a very lightweight element, and it's also quite stiff. But the other reason why beryllium is great for the Webb telescope is that Webb needs to observe in infrared to see those further stars and galaxies. And for that, it's got to stay super cold. None of its radiation can interfere with its observations. It's going to be at temperatures of minus 240 degrees Celsius. Beryllium stays very stable at those very cold temperatures, and that's why it's the perfect substance for the mirrors. It's been tested to within an inch of its life, and it's passed all the tests. It is the perfect element to make these mirrors. When it's launched in 2018, a million miles into outer space, each of the 18 segments of the mirror will unfold step by step. There are bound to be new bits of information and some radical changes in our understanding of the early universe because of Webb. And that is why beryllium for me is the element of the moment.